welcome both of you guys uh, i would say it's 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 a honor actually to meet both of my teachers together and uh, i've learned so much from you in in the past like couple of years actually i would say um, and i'm i'm looking forward to today's interaction it's, it's going to be so much to learn from your musical journey uh, from what inspires you and obviously you inspire us so ravi sir uh mm -hmm. you you know this city is home to you so uh what's your perception about toronto and you know how the city has actually played a big role in 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 your musical journey too well i would say toronto has played a really big role i mean when my family moved here from india we moved to a small place in the north called thunder bay and there were very few south asian families there you yes. know and so i was always used to standing out uh every, every anywhere you went you know and, and you had this sort of feeling that you, always that you were different there you know but um you know when i think when i was a kid i came with my mom to toronto once because she came here for a conference and so when i came here uh you know i was a kid but i was just walking you know when she was at the conference i was just walking uh, downtown toronto by myself and i i i thought wow this like i feel like this is home you know because i i don't feel different here you know i feel like there's so many people of all different parts of the world and i i i feel immediately at at home so in in the back of my mind i had always thought when i grow up i'm going to move there you know <laughs> and uh so for me this is a dream living here that's actually the beauty of toronto you feel like home because uh you know not that because all of us are you know we all of us look same or eat same kind of food or you know have similar kind of um you know the cultural roots but uh Toronto feels more like home because everybody is like you know so different in the beautiful way like you know it's it's a beauty in itself that diversity uh yeah. it it makes you feel like home yeah i agree true true absolutely and how this pandemic has been so far on you know as a musician we know how how it has been really tough especially if we talk about the financial uh, perspective of it for all the artists i would say but looking at the art form i would say it has also given us some more time to reflect back on our art and you know come up with new ideas come up with new stuff so what's what's your you know opinion on that like shishan sir yeah the subject is so vast that itself it itself is 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 is, is so entertaining you know I know it's so, nine months. <laughs> yes, yes, it, it it itself is 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 so uh, you know you are engrossed into the subject and uh, you 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 get more time for to think to try out new new things to learn new things you know to listen to good music to study to read books to read uh, many more articles which generally we don't get time. when yeah. we are busy otherwise you know so it now brings out the now best. these things are 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 created the time is 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 giving us the opportunity to do this definitely which is, which is very good i think no actually like um, as an artist i i totally hear you on that and uh, i have one question from both of you people uh, who are your inspiration musical inspiration like you know we look up to you people uh, you know there are other great maestros which we listen to uh but it would be you know awesome for all of our listeners to you know get to know whom you listen to you know to to learn to inspire uh well for me uh definitely um all time great uh ustad amajan tirakwa uh i like um uh ustad afaq hussain wow. my guruji pandit anand ocharji and um also i like uh, pandit shanta prasad ji wow those are the people that i would always go to for some form of inspiration and obviously like you know um you are yourself such a great uh musician we 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 just we we can totally relate like you know how those maestros have inspired you and uh the same way we look up to you to learn um a lot how you have managed everything like you know in, in terms of 
not letting your focus deviate from mm. from what you're pursuing in terms of music because these days there are so many distractions so that's that's something to learn from you and how about you ashish and sir like your uh, well for me i also i also listen to the all time great masters you know uh of our style of our patiala style ustad bade gulam ali khan sahab then ustad amir khan sahab uh, pandit dv paluskar then uh, pandit mallikarjun mansur so different different styles you know uh, i listen to them and uh, and also the 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 singers who are singing nowadays like ulhas ji like like many many singers nowadays uh i i try to follow what they are also doing how how they are you know making the art form interesting to And to present day audiences what what are you planning to present to our audience what what's what's going to be you know it's it's obviously going to be a treat to our ears so well i i will i i am planning to perform a khayal in wow. raga malkons and uh, it has it has a uh, vilambit ek tal in it uh madhyala teen tal and drup teen tal in it and there on uh, thereafter i i would i would like to present uh, a thumbi in rag uh, mishra manj khamaj in jat tal wow that that's like i'm i'm personally it's like you know i'm looking forward to it and I'm pretty sure for all of our you know listeners this is going to be literally a treat to their ears and uh, with such majestic performances which you have given in the past we we know what what magic you do with with this you know beautiful music uh about you uh, you know about your uh, your jugal bandi i would say what made you both you know come across each other like you know how how you met each other like you arrived to Toronto just like i guess two to three years ago yeah three and a half years ago three and a half years ago yeah. so how you you know got to know ravi sir and uh, personality wise i, I can I, i've known both of you and i know you you are a very like minded people you know i have interacted with both of you uh, very hard working very uh, humble and you know it's it's one thing to be a good musician but it's also very important to be a good human which both of you are um uh, but you know how you came across each other that's that's something i would like to know mm, the thing is that i heard about ravi from an interview of anindo kapu oh you know, pandit anindo chatterjee okay. and then uh then i had the name in my mind you know and then uh, i came up across certain things certain i came to meet some people who told about ravi and then uh, one of ravi student was instrumental wow. you know in in the opportunity of of myself to meet ravi wow. you know and then when we meet then we when we met for for the very first day actually it it happened automatically yeah as i said you both are so like minded and you know as i said like it it yeah, it's it just it, i i just felt that it it was it was to happen in oh. actually nothing nothing new happened <laughs> yeah it was i think very natural i felt uh you know we there's a definitely an immediate uh kinship because we felt similar in our attitudes and uh temperament towards music you know so that um uh, i mean we immediately sort of started meeting every week and practicing together you know so that, yeah. that uh, has been uh, one of the fortunate uh, things that has happened in the last couple of years yes yes true so true actually uh, really and we are like family friends we are like so so good friends wow yeah <laughs> so now on a on a conclusive and a very you know happy note i want to know what message would you be like to would you would you be giving to our audience 
regarding our Riyaz music festival. Like what they will be, um, you know, taking away from this whole ex whole musical experience. And um, you already told, you know, what you would be performing. So, well, uh, I hope that you know people come away with a sense of uh, peace. I know that you know I I feel very fortunate that I'm in a position where I'm not uh, struggling too much right now. But you know, every day when I go to the park, take my dog to, I see people living in the park. You know, in this cold weather, in tents. I mean, that's uh, really unfortunate. That's such that people are suffering out there, you know? So I, I hope that uh, our music will bring some positive vibrations in the world and uh, hopefully institute some good and positive change. Wow, we, we are actually looking forward to uh, the whole festival and we will be actually getting to know a lot more, you know, insights about these beautiful piece of music which you perform and as I said, like for all the people, it's it's literally a treat to our ears. Mm -hmm. So, I guess I I I would like to let you guys go now. Uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you for uh, you know sharing your these beautiful experiences and also guiding the younger singers and you know musicians how they should be uh, you know perceiving this beautiful art form and excel in that. So thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, Rabbi, thank so you so thank much. You so much you share the set. Thanks a lot, Jasmine. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. All right. Nice to see you bye guys. Bye. See bye, you bye. bye. See you. Take nice care. to see both of you. Bye bye. Bye.